Wait, how long is this timeline? Is it really four hours? No, four hours. Hey there, it's Scott. When I sat down to edit the last episode of The Reluctant Editor, I'm not gonna lie here, I got completely overwhelmed. That's what this video is about. I'm gonna talk about how to finish an edit efficiently when you've shot way too much video and have way too long a timeline staring you down. It was a pretty simple video, right? Just me making some titles. But here's the deal. I shot this thing in real time Size as wise. I slowly Too small. worked out what kind of titles I wanted. Big. And then another long session with Terry where she helped me fine tune my titles. I shot all this in 4K, rolling three cameras with audio, the A camera and my B camera up here, and the uh, screen recording from the iPad. We're talking about four or 500 gigabytes of footage. Just moving all that media to my edit device took literally hours. When I finally got it all into a LumaFusion project, I was staring down an immense timeline. Now, let's talk overwhelm. I'm someone who gets blocked up when a restaurant menu has more than two pages. Total deer in the headlights. Cutting a 10 minute video from a four hour timeline felt like a complete nightmare to me. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Could, Could I, I get, get your, your help, help with, with this? this? So, I called in my colleague, Amy. Amy's not just one of our crack customer support techs. She's a 20 year veteran documentary producer and a heck of an editor. She also happens to be my wife. Here's how that went down. Wait, how long is this timeline? Is it really four hours? How, and how long is it deliverable? Like 10 minutes. So I'm hoping that you can help me just like go in there and, and find all the best bits and cut it to throw away. You know how you throw away? Um, no, hmm. four hours. <laughs> when Scott showed me this four hour timeline for a 10 minute video. Even I got a little bit overwhelmed. These are the steps I suggested Scott take. First, duplicate your project so if you need to, you can go back to the old one because you're going to be chopping it up with some bold strokes. Now, define your main points, the things that show the story you need to tell. Write them down and keep them close. Here's a pro tip. Assign each main point a color from LumaFusion's color tags, so you have a visual way to group all the stuff about each individual point together. Then quickly identify which footage shows those main points. You can scrub the timeline and look for spots where something happens, or even look at the waveform to show you where the action is. Don't leave anything on the timeline you aren't fairly certain is usable. Remember, we're working with bold strokes here, so you're just grabbing the very best that show your main points. Tag each clip with the color you assign to that clip's theme. Now gather them and put the ones that all fit together in one place. This way you can tackle one section at a time. Okay, and just like that, you've got your rough assembly. Here we're at 14 minutes-ish, so no more overwhelm. Now, this will obviously need some reordering and cleaning and finessing, but you've pretty much built your rough story arc, and this is where the fun part starts. You can use voiceover, titles, transitions, and graphics to help you hold these ideas together and get from here to there. In my case, I ended up taking out most of the original audio and writing a voiceover. Oh. All right, Scott, so what do you got here? And asking Terry to come in again so that we could create a more concise sequence of her helping me out. All of that let me hit my bullet points and tie it all together. Then it's basically just music and graphics and finishing touches, and we're there. I am super glad Amy came to the rescue on this. And even if Amy can't swoop into your edit to help, if you do ever find yourself overwhelmed by a sprawling timeline, try to get an extra set of eyes on it. It's amazing the clarity that a new perspective can bring when you get stuck. In the next episode, I'm going to challenge myself to design a production so that I can have a more efficient edit and not get into that timeline sprawl in the first place. If you found this useful, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and happy editing.